So there I was, thinking about mowing the lawn as I was power washing my driveway one day, when all of a sudden it came to me, I'm turning 50 this year, and it's time that I got myself something cool. And by the way, I'm not actually 50, uh, not, not even close. So today I'm going to be building the midlife crisis mobile, because every single person who goes through a midlife crisis seems to get one of these. It's going to be a red Corvette, spoiler alert. As I often do with these builds, this is not going to be exactly a Corvette, I'm just going to very roughly base it off of one, and we're going to be starting with some changes right away. I've got a partial aluminum frame, and it's going to be monocoque as well. Combine that with light AHS steel, longitudinal engine, and it's going to be double wishbone on the front and the back. I believe the Corvette has that, but it's some weird combination of like leaf springs in the center and stuff. It's a bit strange. Okay, obviously for this midlife crisis mobile, I need some power. It's going to have to be V8 power. The thing is the fuel economy doesn't matter because it's never going to be driven anyways, but let's just get a nice push rod. 5.7 liter in there. All right, that's pretty similar to what the Corvette has, so I'm gonna go ahead with that. <laughs> very, very simple engine. So I filled up the insides with a mixture of forged and heavy duty forged. Should be reasonable. I w basically just wanna get 350 horsepower out of this. And let's go for multi-point EFI uh, with a per cylinder performance injection. And again, this guy's gonna be putting some good quality oh, good quality premium fuel in there i'd assume anybody that owns a red corvette probably puts premium in there so i'm gonna go ahead with that you know what let's make an ultimate just because all right good news it makes 296 horsepower that's pretty much where i want it to be just a little bit more than that and we're kind of set so i believe the c5 corvette which is kind of what i'm loosely basing this off of has a compression ratio of 10 to 1 so we're gonna go with that and then, uh, I don't know about all this other stuff, we're not using the fuel that we have at all. So we could actually get away with turning this down. Okay, this is going to be surprisingly efficient. Uh, not intentional, but it's not a bad thing either. Wow, okay, that is surprisingly good. 331 horsepower, 21% efficiency, that's not bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead with that. We're not using any of the stuff that we have, but it doesn't matter. What really matters is looks, and now this is going to be a convertible, of course. Uh, oh boy. I haven't thought about what I'm going to do with this at all, but let me just kind of shape it around a little bit. Okay, that's going to do it. And for the color, let's not do default automation red. Let's try and come up with some crappy Corvette red. Oh no, that's not it. Ah, uh, you know what? I kind of like this red right here. It's basically the same as default automation red, but ever so slightly different. And the convertible top will be black. And the wheels will likely be just steel-ish, maybe chrome, actually? Alright, it's time to decorate the midlife crisis mobile. Uh, basically, it's gonna look like a Corvette, but also not look like a Corvette. I'm gonna try my best to make something interesting here, let's go. Okay, so I know that these are headlights, but I'm desperate to use them as taillights because... I don't know, I just want to. <laughs> oh please no, knockoff Corvette, here we come. It's pretty much instantly recognizable just when you look at this. Like even from a distance you can see, it's like yeah, that's uh, that's supposed to be a Corvette. Alright, so I'm stealing some notes from the Corvette playbook and basically uh, giving it some quad exhaust out the back. <laughs> Actually functional quad exhaust this time. I'm just searching for a license plate to put on it, and I think the only acceptable place is California, so that's what I'm gonna put on there. Okay, there we go. It's not gonna be California, it'll be Quebec. Now, I need to give this thing a proper name, so just give me a second to come up with that, because we need to write it out here on the back in big letters <laughs> right down the middle. Otherwise, this is gonna be completely empty back here. Alright, there it is. That's the name of it. The Crisis Contrived. You know, with all cars, it's time that I add a few more details, important things that I obviously can't miss, otherwise people will mention it. This time I will remember to do mirroring, hopefully. Oh, I just realized there's an intake sticking out of the hood, we'll have to fix that when we do the front, but yeah, actually that could mean for some interesting things like a massive hood scoop or supercharger if the mod worked. Let me just go ahead and put some of the surrounding detail on though. I do have dog tape now, so I could potentially put in an interior. I might end up doing an episode uh, just on that, because interiors are incredibly finicky. Well, it's about that time that I try and figure out something for the front end. Now, the obvious answer is pop-ups, but I don't think I'm going to use them for this. I don't know. That just doesn't scream midlife crisis enough to me. Oh man, I did not think this was going to turn into one of these builds, but here we are. <laughs> okay, let me finish this off. So this is where we diverge from the Corvette significantly, because this front end is uh, totally unique and 100% 
my own style. If you can call that style. Alright, I'm gonna do my age-old trick. I believe I've done this a few times before. I mean, it's not really a trick, but it just kind of makes things look a little bit more interesting in terms of the front lip. I've been meaning to do this on some of my cars recently, but I haven't gotten to it. But basically, if you take uh, some of these, then you can put another one in the middle, but place it a little bit lower, and then you can kind of make yourself a three-part piece. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Because then you have to take this and then shrink it uh, quite a bit, then duplicate. Uh, so you have two versions of it, then turn them around like this. I don't know, this is a really crappy tutorial. <laughs> and then there you go, you got your own custom front lip made out of a couple different front lips. But unfortunately you do have to cut out the bottom pieces here. Or potentially just put this one up and then cut that part out, but... I don't know. It's, uh, it's different. I'll give it that. So I need a symbol that just kind of encapsulates this entire car. Uh, and that's probably gonna be... Uh, Medusa? No, maybe a Cyclops? Yeah, Cyclopses are cool, right? Yeah, actually that looks pretty good on the front there. It doesn't make any sense at all, but I don't know. It's just there. Okay, now I need to start adding some of the more ridiculous stuff. Most of the basic things are already here. I mean, we've got door handles, gas cap, some kind of contrived rear end, and then a front end that, it, that indeed exists. Uh, but I can do better, especially in terms of covering up some of the weird stuff. And then we need wheels and all the basics as well. Okay, to cover this up, uh, first thing I'm actually going to do is uh, open it up by using a vent of some kind. So the good part about a lot of these vents is they can become translucent. So if you turn them around, make them translucent, you can cut big holes in your car. And then that can kind of make for some interesting engine situations like this. So you can see this kind of now has context because it can stick out of the car in a way that makes somewhat sense. Uh, it doesn't make total sense, but it does make some sense. Actually, hold on, I might be able to make this better. There we go, that that makes a lot more sense. The air intake is literally right here. But then to disguise this, because I don't know, it just seems a little bit out. I'm going to try to put some more vents on the hood and, and fake some things in. <laughs> Hopefully it uh, comes together. Like, if we're going to have this intake stick out of the hood, we may as well have fake hood pieces as well, so... I'm just gonna slap some of those on. Oh yeah, no, that, that's looking pretty mean right there. <laughs> pretty mean sitting in the garage. Okay, on to wheels. Now, I don't remember what the period correct wheels for this are, so I'm gonna make them up. And I'm very tempted to go back to these again. But I think it's probably these ones here that'll uh, fit the bill just perfectly. They do look like Corvette rims, and yeah, this is not a Corvette at all. Okay, anything else basic that I missed? Uh, doesn't look like it. I'm probably missing something, that's okay though, let's continue. Uh, so it's gonna be rear wheel drive, and because again, these people are not bothered to drive, it's just gonna be an advanced auto. Let's make it a 6 speed actually, and okay. Top speed 290? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, it's gonna need a geared LSD to keep this thing on the road so it doesn't turn into a Mustang when it leaves the show and shine. Uh, let's go for sports compound radials, that's probably fine. And then in terms of wheels, it's gonna have some big ones. Let's go 285 and we'll put 300s on the back for now. We'll see what that does. Okay, it's got 19s, that's fine. We'll make them alloy and the size of them is uh, fine as well. So I have a set weight idea of what I want to get for this car, and it's got to be around 1,500 kilos. It's not going to be like 4,000, such as the last build that I did. Uh, so I'm just going to go for a semi-clad under tray. We'll give it a little bit of brake airflow, but I'm not going to touch anything here until there are more graphs to mess with. And obviously it's going to be only two seats with a sport interior, standard CD, actually premium CD. Let's step it up a bit. Let's say you got the, uh, the Z06. Unfortunately, it does need traction aids, and uh, we'll just go for standard safety, nothing too crazy. Can I put it on a uh, hydro pneumatic suspension, which will be an interesting choice? Uh, it probably doesn't make any sense, but uh, let me see if I can just make it drive well. Okay, comfort completely went out the window as soon as I put a race preset on it, and 
everything else is looking okay, surprisingly so. Let me go ahead and go back though and take a look at these graphs. So top speed, it says 295. We've actually gotten a little bit quicker somehow. I'm okay with this gearing. I think that's going to be fine. Everything else here looks good. Wheel spin is surprisingly not even an issue. I guess it doesn't make enough power to move those wheels. Okay, the graph is like way, way off. Uh, the front wheels apparently are far too big. I'd rather be in oversteer than understeer territory, so if it's a little bit over there, it's not that big a deal. It seems like the perfect spot is right here, 260, 290. That's not too bad, and really high sportiness again. Finally, we're getting that muscle that we wanted. Brakes are extremely weak, I can fix that. Have a lot of experience in this regard now. <laughs> Seems to be a common thread with a lot of my vehicles. And downforce is uh, non-existent on the rear. You know, I should probably do something about that. It's, it kind of needs a little bit of a wing, doesn't it? Even just a little piece like this is probably going to be fine. Uh, if I can get it to go on there. Oh man, these things never work out for me. I think... Uh, I mean, I could always just put a tiny one. <laughs> doesn't make any sense, but... It's always an option. Yeah, you know what? A really tiny wing? That'll be fine. It'll probably make us have at least some downforce. It's just the weirdest looking thing on the back. It doesn't look too bad from the actual back though, if you squint. Okay, there we go. The graph is updated and we have downforce on the front and the rear. A surprising amount on the rear, all things considered. That's going to be good because uh, that is where this thing drives from. It is indeed rear wheel drive. Plus, we're higher up in the muscle premium section, which is great. That's exactly where I want to be. Interior is still good. I haven't checked the weight of it yet though. Let me just see quickly. 1864. Oh man. That's a little bit more than I was anticipating. <laughs> okay, we're going all the way back to the engine. I'm going to make it out of aluminum. Uh, that's not going to make any difference to power, but it's going to lighten it quite a significant amount. And it didn't do enough. <laughs> okay, so it was our safety weight that was increasing the... Uh, weight of the car quite significantly. Basically, I went over to safety. It's got standard 2000 safety, but it's negative 15 quality, so you're probably going to die in an accident. Also, I changed the body panels of the car to be aluminum, so it's now an aluminum car. Doesn't make any sense, but hey, it's fine. And in terms of suspension tuning, I think I'm just going to change it a touch. Uh, probably going to increase the spring stiffness just a little bit, and the dampers as well. On, uh, on both ends. All right, there you have it. This is my midlife crisis mobile. Let's go ahead and try it out and beam. See how it drives, see how it looks in the driveway, see what it looks like when the neighbor walks down the street, all that good stuff. So good news, everybody. I just picked up a brand new, or actually new to me, crisis contrived from a guy down the street turns out it's a pretty sought after vehicle he told me that they only made 150,000 of them in this color and that means it's rare uh hold on a minute in the fine print it says 150,000 in this color in the state of ohio oh yeah yeah definitely rare yeah so today i figured i'd go and take it down to a car show you can see that my driveway is nice and clean my lawn is nicely clipped and it's a good time to uh, go and hang out with all the other dads down there I'm sure that they'll be uh, very interested to see my uh, beautiful V8 and definitely hear it rumble as well as I try to leave the cars and coffee. But first, obviously, we need to go for a cruise. Let's just go ahead and drive down the street here, annoying the neighbors with the overly loud exhaust and then maybe uh, breaking some rules, but still keeping it clean here. It does have ESC after all. Now I've got this mighty pushrod V8, so I may as well start using it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's some power right there. Yeah, let's take it up to some twisties over here through the forest. That's a good time for this kind of car, right? Definitely handles well. Not understeer, actually that's oversteer at all. Sometimes you just gotta cruise and drive really slowly because I'm afraid of hitting the guardrail. I mean, I spent 15,000 on this, okay? I gotta be careful. Like, yes, it's a 2005, but that's okay. It still means the world to me. You know, now that I bought this car, I feel like I should probably start working out as well. Going down to the beach more without a shirt on. Alright, Twisty Bits, definitely a success. I would say that that was uh, very close to not killing me, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and take it down the highway. Let's try and open this thing up and show some real speed. Pretty sure the highway is just down here. Although I believe this car might be a bit too old for proper navigation. Oh yeah, here it is. This is the place. Okay, brakes are fading. That's uh, very unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go a little bit easier on it. But look at that entrance speed, 150 kilometers an hour. My goodness, it's a good thing I don't have the 
top down, otherwise my toupee would be flying off. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I don't have any hair left. Alright. Let's, uh, oh, we'll try and exit the highway gracefully here. Oh, man, that was bad. We'll try a sick drift, and, oh, okay, whoops. Um, <laughs> insurance. Well, you know what they say, red cars are always uh, the ones that get pulled over by the police, so I better be careful. I'm just gonna cruise at a nice even uh, 120-ish, if I can keep that up without using actual cruise control. Oh, yeah, now this is the life right here. Red contrived down the highways. This is absolute peak uh, masculine performance. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, let's open it up now that I see the water. I want to get down there with my boat. Uh, yeah, I got a cigarette boat. Oh no, that's a little too fast. <laughs> I'm trying to hit literally every dad stereotype here and I'm kind of crossing some barriers, so <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay, let's go on down to the beach. I think that the show might be down there, but it could also be a test track day. Uh, depends on the day. Let's just see though if I can find any of my comrades down here. Oh, there goes a mirror. Ah, the industrial area. Now this is a, a scary place. Don't want to get this car stolen and then shipped off in a box. That would be highly unfortunate. But as there's no one around, why don't I just shut off the traction control for a minute here and lay some 11s down. Alright, foot on the brake a little bit, building up the power, and would you look at that? We have... 11s. <laughs> it looks great. Alright, once again, trying this another time. I'm gonna let off the brakes slowly and just try to paint some lines on the road. Oh yeah, now that is, that is genius right there. See, you gotta get yourself a car that can do this. This is exactly uh, what you need. Man, oh man, I should have put a North Star V8 in this thing. Alright, down by the docks, and there doesn't seem to be anybody around here either. I guess the car show is taking place at the track, so I'll have to uh, drive on over there. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, what do we have here? Is this a, a Challenger, perhaps? Some kind of uh, economy vehicle? You can't face this, buddy. What are you gonna do? My red contrived is here to beat you. Now that unintentionally rhymed, but it did sound menacing. Let's go when it hits red. And boom, see you later. Bye now. Oh yeah, I sure showed that guy. He didn't even have to try there. He knew he was gonna be beaten by me. Time for my hourly stop at the fuel station. You know, this thing needs to be refueled quite often. Although admittedly, it's not as fuel inefficient as my wife's car. That thing is ridiculous. Okay, real talk for a second. This car is nuts without the ESC. It slides all over the place. Let me give you an example. So I'm just kind of starting off here. I'm gonna try and get some grip for a second. And then just kind of weaving a little bit. It just automatically goes into a drift and then attempts to murder me. Uh, and it does so incredibly successfully, so you gotta be careful with this car, IRL. Cruising the country roads, down to the track, blowing red lights, again, as you do. Totally driving on the wrong side of the road, hitting a pole and spinning out. Again, just a regular day in Hollywood. Alright, made it to the track, let's just slide on in there and get a track day in. It's gonna be great to be able to drive this sports car on the track for the first time. You know how it is though, you gotta be careful. It's pride and joy right here, pride and joy. Well, I don't see anybody down at the track, so it looks like it's just me today. Let me go ahead and go out and drive on there and uh, tear it up a little bit. I'm gonna go totally mad on the track, guys, don't worry. No wokeness will be left over. I mean, uh, that's, that's what the kids say, right? That's close enough? Let's go down the track at full speed. Uh, I probably should have turned off the ESC. Hold on, let me just reach over as I'm driving and do that. Definitely, definitely safe. There we go, that's good. And the funny thing is that I had originally intended on... Oh no, brakes, 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 brakes. I had originally intended on spawning a bunch of cars for this. But then I tried it, and it unfortunately crashed my computer, so... Yeah, uh, not great. Alright, so the contrived around the track is not actually too bad. Uh, it does have some issues with oversteer and actually a little bit understeer surprisingly <laughs> you can see it gets a little bit squirrely in some of the corners and is generally just dangerous i don't think i'd actually want to drive this the brakes on the front are too small to really um stop it well and also i'm a terrible driver but uh what else is new all right down the drag strip we go or at least next to it yeah next to it that's that uh, works for me we'll go down the drag strip a little bit later but Let's just kind of see what top speed we can get up to. 
It's been a day since I started recording this video because BeamNG wasn't working for me yesterday, unfortunately, so... Yeah, I don't remember the specs on this car. I believe it was like 290, something like that. Uh, we're not gonna get it here, but maybe on the salt flats or something. And after all that, the engine still works. Looks like an LS swap is in the works for somebody here. Parts are uh, cheap. All right, as promised, it's time that we showed up some chump on the drag strip. Let's go ahead and race our arch rival, the Mustang. Although, to be honest, I don't really know if the Mustang is in the same class as the Corvette, at least not these days. Uh, but let's just find something here. All right, what should we race against? Uh, maybe... Uh, let's race against this one. Let's see how good it can do. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting go here. Alright, let's see how the game handles this. Uh, it's got an arcade gearbox in it now. The thing just dropped out of the sky. Like, I made that car super, super tough uh, in terms of suspension. I really like it though. I'm, I'm glad that I spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> as ridiculous as it is. I'm hoping to make some more stupid cars like that soon, but stereotypes are uh, a lot of fun. Alright, I'm going to try and shift up to sport mode and drive. I didn't start using a, uh, a proper drag start. I should have revved the car. So let's do it next time, but having not revved the car, it seems like we're actually slower, which is incredibly surprising. Goodness, just by a little bit though. Let's try that again. Okay, proper drag strip techniques this time. Gotta stage myself properly. Load it up and... There it is, that's a bit better, but it seems that we might still be outmatched by the drift car. I don't remember, I'm guessing it has more power and is probably lighter. <laughs> Surprisingly so. Okay, so that car is a little bit out of my class and there's a lot of death happening behind us. Uh, let me go ahead and go down a class and race against the... Uh, I don't know, the Dangan here, that's probably uh, a bit more of my style. Now the Dangan is a car that I made quite a long time ago and it's basically just a uh, economy car. It's very simple, very uh, low powered and okay, and very slow as well, that's a good thing. We finally found something we can beat, that's a, that's a good sign. <laughs> and that was my best time yet, I got a 13.5, okay. One more challenger and then let's do something else. Okay, you know I have to race it against the Karen Mobile, the Karen Commander, uh, the mobile fortress that it is. Let's see if I can just get up against that now. Uh, apparently it's not staged. <laughs> oh darn, hold on a minute. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do this time is I'll drive the Commander. Uh, let me just turn off the ESC and then the game will drive the, uh, the new Contrived, which will be interesting. Alright, that car's looking good over there. Let's see if the AI can stage it and they can that's a good sign up we go oh this thing weighs a lot i forgot about that it does have a lot of power but uh yeah that's a that's a no right there looks like the husband's gonna win in a drag race unfortunate but uh, at least karen tried <laughs> she's probably gonna end up suing the race course here you know when you have to take a road trip in the desert this is the perfect vehicle let me go ahead and give you an example as to why uh, basically Okay, I almost hit the rock there. Uh, you can cruise these nice country roads, or desert roads, I guess. Still country, technically, right? Uh, but you can cruise them pretty easily with this car and uh, get away with some serious speed as well. Plus, there's an auto repair shop right over here and a gas station, because you know I'm going to be visiting those places quite often. And in fact, you can start to drive into them now, which is cool. Pop in for a tune-up, scrape the car on the curb, as you do. Yeah, let me just take my car to Jiffy Lube. It's not like I really need uh, a proper dealer to take care of the oil changes or anything. Don't worry about it. Walmart can do it. Anyway, as we cruise these roads, I just want to thank everybody for the support on the Karen video. My goodness, it exploded. I was incredibly surprised by that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just having fun making these videos now, uh, as, I, as I hope to. Uh, making these stereotype videos is a lot of fun. And I'm going to continue to uh, diversify things a little bit, but also still make some really stupid builds like the last one and, and this one. Maybe this one to a lesser extent. Maybe it's a, a touch more realistic, but I don't know. Red Corvette, it's pretty generic until you add a little bit of a label to it like midlife crisis. At least that's how I think about things. Needless to say, I had a lot of trouble making this uh, in, with BeamNG not working for me. 
and so if the video is not uh, quite the quality you were looking for, then I apologize. We'll see how things go in the future, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep making one of these videos every week. Make sure to stick around, and uh, yeah, next time, oh, I don't even know what we're going to do. It's going to be good, though. Thanks to those who choose to support the channel. Uh, I respect all you guys a lot. I appreciate you. Uh, we have Canadian Steel, Overlord, Dr. Ivo, That Rice Stood Explorer, QT Bear, Terry Williams, The Most Random Person, 60 Cars and Stuff, Boris Ramirez, Jug, Jacob, and Ruben. Thank you all for your support. Uh, you guys are awesome. And this list is continuing to grow, which makes me very happy. See you again in the next video.